The death of Yahya Sinwar, a key Hamas leader, has been confirmed by Israeli forces. Yahya Sinwar is dead. He was killed in Rafah by the brave soldiers of the Israel Defense Forces. While this is not the end of the war in Gaza, it's the beginning of the end. Drone footage from Gaza shows the final moments of his life. Sitting among the rubble, his face is covered and his arm appears badly wounded. In desperation, he tries to fend off the drone with a stick. For the past year, Sinwar tried to escape justice. He failed. We said we would find him and bring him to justice. And we did it. Sinwar was one of the masterminds behind the devastating attack on October 7th last year. At first, Israeli forces didn't realize who they had killed until they saw the body and immediately noticed a striking resemblance to Sinwar. DNA testing later confirmed his identity. Sinwar has spent years in Israeli jails, providing the army with the necessary medical records to verify his remains. The Hamas leader was found in the Tel el Sultan area of southern Gaza on Wednesday. Israeli infantry were searching the area, suspecting senior Hamas leaders were hiding there. Then the building was hit by tank shells and missiles. Israeli officials believe Sinwar evaded capture for so long by using the vast network of tunnels Hamas had built beneath Gaza over the past 20 years. You know, the short answer is no, this was an Israeli operation. U.S. forces were not directly involved. Uh, the Pentagon had stated that the U.S. forces played no role in the operation. However, President Biden released a statement calling this a good day for Israel, the United States and the world. Sinwa's body was later transported to Tel Aviv for further analysis. At the same time, at a beach in Tel Aviv, a lifeguard took the microphone with an announcement. He said, it's not 100% confirmed yet, but there's a strong chance the rat from the tunnels Yahya Sinwa is dead. As news spread, protesters in Tel Aviv calling for a deal to secure the release of hostages expressed fears over their safety following Sinwa's death. And I'm, I'm happy that uh, Sinwa uh, died and murdered, but uh, in the second, I'm really, really scared. I'm scared about the 101 hostages. This, this, some of them are still alive because any minute that is uh, passing by, they are in danger. And the concern and the worry is very deep and there should be a deal sealed immediately. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Jordan, pro-Sinwa chants filled the streets. Supporters called for the government to cut ties with Israel, fueling tensions in the region. Sinwar has been at the top of Israel's most wanted list since the Israel-Hamas war began over a year ago. His death deals a significant blow to Hamas, with Israeli officials calling him the key to Gaza. Hamas itself has yet to comment, however sources within the group suggest that they have reason to believe Sinwar was indeed killed. Thank <laughs> you.